Uh, Gwen Gashonake is a fixed income dealer at Access Bank and is uh, joining us live from FMDQ Exchange Place. This is the morning after the central bank decided to raise cash reserve ratio for all banks in Nigeria to 27.5% from 22.5% previous. How's the fixed income market, the destination of the first impact this morning? Gwenga, good morning. Hope you had a very nice weekend. Oh. Uh, good morning. Fine, thank you. And yours? Great. Let's go straight to business. What's the opening curve this morning on the debt market on this latest CRR increase to 27.5%? Um, okay. Um, the curve is quite pretty much stable, really. It's, the impact is not going to be so much, given that um, some people had already been debt. So people's effective CRR was already almost 27.5%. So in terms of net debit into the system, people are expecting um, something less than 200 billion to hit the system in terms of CRR or debit. So really, um, also CBS stance of reducing OMO um, rates and as well as volumes also puts the market in a precarious position. You really don't want to sell what um, in the future you might not be able to get back. So people are pretty much being a bit more cautious and not selling off, but Trying to just maintain a bit of stability and see where um, everything plays out. This liquidity this morning, uh, how did the market open? Long or short in terms of liquidity? Um, market was about 700 billion in terms of liquidity on Friday. Um, Board auction debit was about 420 something, 20, 30 billion. So, net, we expect market to be slightly long opening this morning. Uh, okay, so what's the, how do, are you folks taking the entire monetary policy stance right now, uh, handling the new CRR at a higher level, 27.5%, and the existing loan-to-deposit ratio of 65%? Uh, what's your playbook here to handle that? Um, so we all understand where CBN is going in terms of the spirit of what they're trying to do, um, essentially trying to tackle inflation at the same time of trying to spur growth. So... That's a, it's almost like a two-edged sword. You don't really know which one to attack at its best or which one to put more effort on. So we understand the CBS position. Um, in terms of the CRR, debit, and LDR, by the time they reduce their own insurance, so net on net, we should still see more accretion to the um, liquidity position. So we really don't... It's not necessarily a big deal at the moment, but we still expect CBN to try and still do more in terms of more policy directives, more interventions in the market. So until that really plays out before you know exactly which direction to take. So as we so see this new uh, CRR policy, 27.5%, move on from today to the end of the week and the week after and all of that. Uh, among you treasury dealers, what's your uh, mindset about uh, how investors should play the fixed income markets moving forward? Well, to be honest, um, especially when you're looking at inflation, you're looking at cost of funds and so on and so forth. Um, it's, uh, the CRL in itself should re increase um, cost of deposits going forward. So really, unfortunately, there's really no much alternative you can do. CBN has restricted um, local players in terms of PFAs and some um, asset managers for me investing in normal maturity. So the really other option you have is to either buy um, Nigerian treasury bills or to buy bonds. So uh, there's really much more cash liquidity than there is supply of instruments at this point. So really, is it still a no-brainer? Um, you need to earn interest on your investments. Uh, people are still a bit more skeptical of the equities market. Uh, we've seen a bit of flows go into that market, but not as much as you would naturally see, but people are still skeptical. People have been bumped there. People don't just want to um, just throw money in the equity market. So we still see a bit more demand in the bond and t bills market, especially the bonds, given that um, the 30 year bond still offers um, the highest level of double digit um, interest in the market. So we still see that there will still be continued demand in that, in that space for now. Mm. So where is the uh, 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 money market rate, as we speak, uh, in terms of uh, open buyback and all of that, uh, repo rate? Uh, are they reacting already to the latest uh, CRR uh, position? Uh, well, it's, too, it's still too early to tell. Um, market just opened about a couple of minutes ago. So I think before the end of the day, tomorrow morning, we'll be able to get a clear picture of where it, of where it will be. But in the interim, it's going to be tight. Um, like I said, giving bond auction debit on Friday and no net liquidity into the system has happened so far. So that should 
it rates should hinge up a lot significantly open the market today as people try to fund or do as, uh, try to cover their positions in the market. But by the time Thursday comes, we have almost maturity of about 4.5 billion hit the system. So really, at the end of the day, it's still going to be single digit levels, about five between 5 and 10 percent, but nothing significant, to be honest. Uh, interesting. Uh, on a final note, uh, Benga, where is currency uh, exchange rate in this entire yield curve conversation and CRR increase to 27.5? Um, uh, that's the CRR increase came after market on Friday. So um, the market, this is the first opening, um, the first first market trading day after the CRR increase. So uh, until the end of the day, before you see any negative, any serious impact into the market, in terms of maybe customers pulling out funds or doing so, or people trying to aggressively buy dollars, or the cost of funding goes up, and you, you really can't buy dollars as much as you would buy before. So um, today is the first trading day. By the end of today, we'll be able to get more clear direction on what the customers and what the other investors are thinking. Great. Benga Shunaike, thank you so much for talking to us, uh, Fixed Income Dealer at Access Bank. Wish you the best of the day and the rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you very much from FMDQ Exchange Place. On Friday, investors traded nearly 220 open market operations T-bills, the four most actively traded. We showed you that a little bit earlier. We just bring that back for you very quickly. And you can see the tenor of those instruments that were most actively traded as, as some about 12.79% uh, discount high on uh, bills maturing to the 7th of October 2020. For 2021 January, that's about 364 days, 13.11%, and, and the rest you can see uh, there. But a very active day, 454 uh, transactions. Uh, but what you're looking at on your screen now is Nigeria uh, Treasury Bills, which is the, the playground for body corporates and individuals within the Nigerian space. That's a very paltry $297 million. Uh, on, on Friday, just six transactions. Then if you, I just want to add the FGN bonds, which is the narrow bonds uh, by the DMO into your portfolio. That's coming straight to you. That's the figure there. You can see that uh, coming through 101 transactions, 58.01 billion naira. That's on Friday, of course, as the central bank was making those announcements uh, in the afternoon, just around the debt market close. Where are we this morning? As far as the coronavirus is concerned, this is teen of the afternoon show for you. The price of oil is hitting the waters this morning. Brent crude benchmark against Nigeria's oil and our budget below $60 a barrel, $58.58. Well, so we saw the price of Brent just before the business morning started this today. Crude oil down 3.51% as Nigeria. That's Brent crude oil. WTI, that's the U.S. oil, around 53 28 on the counter. Oil prices are tanking today. Stock markets been roid as well on the back of the fears over the coronavirus. Japanese stocks were seriously uh, in the red territory. The rest of Asian markets are closed for the holiday. The Chinese are extending their lunar year holiday to keep the virus contained. That's some of the stories you'll hear later in our news and in our uh, afternoon business show. I am Bussin Mafai. Have a great day, everyone. And business morning continue tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, as always. See you.